A lot of you have heard this word before. You've heard me talk about not using it, the overuse of it, and the perpetual social drive that we have in our culture to keep this word at the forefront. Yes, I'm talking about the word busy. You hear it all the time. How have you been? Oh, I've been so busy. What's your life been like? Oh, it's been really busy. How was your day? It was so busy. The point is, every time we use the word busy, we think we're communicating something, when in reality, all we're essentially saying is, either I don't care enough to tell you what's going on, I'm overwhelmed, or I just can't even stop long enough to tell you what's going on. Part of the problem, though, is that busyness has become a form of social capital. The more busy we are, the more we assume a sense of self-worth and value above those around us. So if I'm more busy than everybody else that I know, that suggests to me and in our culture that I must be better. I must be on top. I think about this, a lot of you that maybe weren't from Wisconsin or places where there were a lot of snow growing up, maybe never played this game, but there's this game that you play called King of the Hill, where essentially the snow plows would plow up all of the snow off of maybe a parking lot or whatever the case may be, and you get this huge mountain and the goal of it, it was a super dangerous game, was to essentially push everybody else off of this snow mountain to get to the top so that you could be the king of the hill. Using the word busy as a form of social capital works very similar to that concept of being the king of the hill. If I'm the one that's the most busy, if I'm the one that's doing the most awesome stuff, then that means that I'm above everybody else. Therefore, I have inherent worth and value. The problem is, using this word tells me essentially nothing about you. What it really does is continues to say, I am going to keep running, keep working, keep staying in this, let's say, hamster wheel of my life without really stopping and looking at it. What we've also seen is that people that are truly busy, by way of actually using their time in effective ways to affect community change or to manage their lives or the lives of people around them, typically aren't the people that are talking about how busy they are. People that are truly, really busy or involved in the work that they're doing are the ones that are doing rather than talking. There was this really funny, uh, I don't even know what comic it was, but basically a comic that said, I'm never too busy to stop and tell you how busy I am. And that's really what I think about when I think about how we use that term busy. And I'm not saying that all of you are doing this knowingly. A lot of it, again, has just been built into you. It's habit. When someone says, how are you, you say busy or fine. It's pretty much the two options that are ingrained in us. In reality, though, let's stop and take a look at it. What does it really mean when you talk about being really busy? In reality, what we're often saying is, I'm overwhelmed. I'm not happy. I don't have anything that I want to talk about, or I'm too tired to even articulate a full sentence to you about what's going on in my life. It's typically not equated with, my life is wonderful, I love everything about it. Busy tends to be a distancer. If I keep telling everybody that I'm so busy, they're going to assume that something's not okay with me, and they don't want to bother me with something else. So inherently, I'm going to create opportunities where I might have been invited to something or somebody might have reached out with a text or a phone call and they're going to stop doing it because they're assuming that I'm already too overwhelmed. The other problem is when we don't allow for rest or any type of resetting in our lives, again by assuming or equating our lives with this on-the-go busyness, we never really allow ourselves to reach optimal performance and connection with people around us. So for example, when I talk about being so busy, it's almost as if I have this activation point and I've been activated up here to being really busy or active. But rather than coming down and allowing myself to rest before coming back up to again really allow that full circle to happen, I instead am saying I'm busy, I'm up here, I may be dipped a little bit, but I'm just keeping riding up here. And eventually what happens is I crash. We all probably experience this. Typically when we're more of that hyper- uh, engaged person that really talks about our busyness, perhaps when it has to do with careers or family or just life as a whole, our crashing point tends to happen when we get physically sick. It's never really just, oh, I really can tell that I, you know, my mental capacity is down or I'm not as creative. It tends to be we get a cold, the flu, we're just constantly lethargic, some sort of a physical symptom. 
So paying attention to that, if that's happening to you a lot, might be a sign that you're talking about being more busy and living a life of busyness without really thinking about what it means for you. So what I want you to think about is how is busy or using that term busy working for you? Is it that it's really helping you to run from the truth of your life? So Brene Brown talks a lot about how if we can only keep ourselves going long enough, we can fool ourselves into thinking that everything is okay. Is there something that you're essentially running from that's going on behind you or imploding from within you that you need to face? On the flip side, and maybe in tandem, is busyness also acting as a form of fear? Is it acting as a barrier for you to not do the things that you want to do by making changes in your life? For me, this was a big one. I was too busy to start working as a public speaker. I was too busy to start selling my art in larger markets. I was too busy to start filming these video series. I've been talking about doing video series for three years, and just now am I starting to do it. And the fear for me is oftentimes about failure and wondering what people are going to say about you, and also the judgment that comes from within when you're doing these things. So if I'm busy with all of these sort of monotonous tasks, I don't have to really sit and look at how are these things connecting with my values? How am I feeling as a whole? Is this moving me forward? Am I excited? And then on the flip side, how are other people supporting it? Instead, I just stay on the hamster wheel. And that comfort, that safety that comes with the predictability in my life oftentimes all gets enveloped into that concept of being too busy. So this week, my challenge to you is to think through how has busyness really played a role in your life? How do you use the term? Is it coming really automatic? As soon as somebody asks, you're telling them how busy you are? Is it coming in different platforms, the way you've been writing about things, where you say, I'm so sorry I've been so busy that I didn't get in touch with you? In reality, the subtext is, I had other priorities, or it was too hard to make this a priority until now. So take some time to actually reflect on how you use it, the why behind you're using it, and what it is that you really want to be communicating with somebody else. And I would say the answer then is twofold in terms of what do you do with it. First off, take a little bit of time and think through, if I start to make this change internally, even if I'm still telling the world that I'm busy, what is it that I'm really saying inside? So if I say to somebody, oh, things have been so busy, what is it? Is it that I'm scared to talk about myself? Do I feel like I'm going to come off as a humble bragger? Is it that I'm afraid of somebody assuming something about me if I start to tell them things? Get to know that component and then slowly move into not using the term externally and start trying to communicate a little bit more of that authentic truth. I maybe don't have to tell everybody that I might have a panic attack every single time that I want to record something and so I haven't done it. What I can say though is making that change is really scary and I'm working through a few things before I get started. As always, feel free to let me know if there are things that I didn't tell you, more that you want to know. I have tons of information and I actually do an entire seminar on the concept of busyness in our culture, being overworked, how we make those small changes. So please let me know if you're interested in learning more about this topic or if you have any questions or ideas about how you want to move this into your life. As always, please comment below on what it was like for you to hear this, how it resonates with you, how you can put this into practice, and or any outcomes in this next week as you start putting it into practice in your everyday life.